Hi kids, and welcome to the Boys and Girls Club. This is Mr. Andy from the Downey Center with a fun, high-yield learning activity for you today in the form of another neat math trick. All you need for today's activity is a blank piece of paper and a pencil, although I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you can see it better on the video. And what we're going to do is start with simple problem 1 times 9. The answer is 9. I'm going to put a 0 in front, which doesn't change the value, and you'll see why we did that in just a second. For the rest of the activity, we just need to keep everything lined up. Next problem, 2 times 9. And our answer is 18. And then we're going to continue this way all the way to 9 times 9. And we're just going to keep everything lined up. Try to make sure that you leave yourself enough room to get everything on your piece of paper. So there we have it. We have 1 times 9 all the way through to 9 times 9. Now we're going to look at the answers. Put our equal signs in. Keep it all lined up. 3 times 9 is 27. 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 9 is 45. 6 times 9 is 54. 7 times 9 is 63. 8 times 9 is 72. And finally, 9 times 9 is 81. Now let's look at the interesting pattern that develops in the answers. If we look at the tens place to begin with, in our first answer, there was nothing, so we have a zero. And then as we look at each answer, watch what happens. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now if we look at the ones place, Let's go backwards, starting from 9 times 9 and working our way back down to 1 times 9. In the ones place, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can see in both directions, the value changes by 1 in the tens place and in the ones place. And it makes an interesting pattern to think about. So... Look at this for a while, see if you can see why that's happening. And that's it for today's fun learning activity. I'll see you in the next activity.